Okay, what is going on, everybody? Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Today is uh, Thursday. I'm actually losing track of the days now because this week was such a weird week with me having my day off on Tuesday, which isn't usual, that I got confused. I couldn't even, didn't even know what today was. And it's funny because I came on stream and some people were like, Phil's here today? I'm like, yeah, I am. You know, even I, even even me, it's throwing me off because the schedule is so freaking weird. You know, now that Cat uh, had a little bit of a different work schedule uh, this week, okay? So I am here today. Today is Thursday, July 18th, 2019. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're ready for a, a more chill day of f streaming fun today. Um, we're going to be continuing on with Dragon Quest Builders 2, all right? Which is a game that I started playing this weekend, and I really enjoy it. I'm actually having a lot more fun with it than I expected, a lot of people thought it was going to be very similar to Minecraft. In reality, it has not been. It's been very different from Minecraft, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> with story elements that are, you know, scripted and, and scripted side missions and, and hidden puzzles and all kinds of fun stuff so far. <clears throat> so I hope that you guys have been enjoying it. I have been. You know, I, I understand this, this will not be a playthrough that's going to be a mainstream hit. Let's just be very honest here. This is not a playthrough that's going to resonate with all my my mainstream viewing audience. I know that. All right. Um, but that being said, uh, I am enjoying it very much, and I'm happy that some of you are joining me for the playthrough, regardless of the fact that it is, you know, not the most action-intensive game and the like, okay? I do think there are fun action elements, so the combat is refreshing. It's, it's cool to have combat like this in the game because it's not really like that in Minecraft, you know what I mean? Um, even though there's combat, it's not like these waves of enemies and you have people teaming up to fight with you and stuff. It's pretty neat in that regard. Um, so, um, I am, you know, I'm pleased to be continuing on this playthrough today as the main gameplay stream. Will this game remain a main gameplay stream? That remains to be seen. Let's see what happens as I continue to play this game. Let's see how people turn out, the support level... The, the engagement level, if people are liking the streams, you know what I mean? It could end up being a playthrough much like my Dragon Quest XI playthrough was last year, where this is a game that either, you know, it, it, grow, it, it gains traction with a small group of viewers, but they really like this kind of content, and it ends up being a very successful playthrough over time because of the support of a small group of viewers, or it could end up being a nighttime chill stream as well. Um, we have to basically see how it goes, okay? We'll play it by ear. And see how it goes. But I definitely am looking forward to doing a major stream of this today. Okay. Um, excuse me. Ooh. So. Yes, this should be fun. I hope you guys are excited for today's stream. Then later tonight will be the continuation of Judgment. Yes, I'm still continuing on. I believe we're in Chapter 7 now. Which means that we're technically around halfway through the game. Um, the, the game apparently has 12 story-based chapters. But as you know, I've been doing tons of the side content of the game. And it's been a, quite a fun experience. Um, more judgment coming later tonight uh, on the late stream around 6.45 p.m., so two more hours of that, okay? Tomorrow, we start off with some cool new stuff. We've got Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 starting up tomorrow on the Nintendo Switch. It will be a co-op playthrough for me. I have two people lined up who can play <clears throat> the entirety of the playthrough with me. And I've got one or two others who say that they can maybe drop in, drop out, over the course of the weekend as I'm playing. Um, and so it should be fun. At the very least, we're going to have two, three people doing full co-op with you know as a team, and then maybe even some more dropping in and out over the weekend. The sad part about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 is that it's on the Switch. Not that that means that it's a bad game. It just means that, sadly, the Switch doesn't have voice chat. And I'm not going to be setting up Discord or any other kind of chat thing. So it's basically just going to be us playing and, and interacting within the confines of the game <clears throat> and doing our best. Okay, um, so it is what it is. You know, you gotta you know be within the confines of what, what the the console can do. Um, so yeah, pretty good. I, I do want to say thanks to the people this week, and I believe last week as well, who went to my Amazon wish list and purchased some Nintendo Shop credits, uh, because that paid for the vast majority of the cost of the game. Um, in fact, it only cost me a couple dollars. No lie, it was like the ta a little bit of the tax I had to pay, but. The game cost was covered pretty much by people being very generous with the Amazon wish list. So thank you guys very much for that. Um, I appreciate that very much. Okay? So that starts tomorrow. And that's going to be our major stream 
tomorrow and over most of the weekend. Uh, if this follows suit with other Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, typically they run anywhere from 8 to 12 hours long, depending. It really depends on, on how, how, how you know, much you get stuck, if you have to replay levels from the start or whatever. Um... We'll see. I don't know how much content they put into this one, all right? So I, I would say it's at least going to be enough to support Friday and Saturday streams. It may be Sunday as well, but I basically want to do a big chunk of it. Being that this is an ongoing co-op playthrough, all right, it's going to be a few days of covering this because I want people to be available for it. I don't want to say, oh, I'm going to do it every other day, and now somehow these guys have to open up their life schedules <laughs> to be able to be here. Oh, Friday, Sunday, and Tuesday. It's probably not going to be very, very realistic, okay? So I'm going to be playing it. You know, pretty consistently, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as we get through the game. And it should be fun, especially if you're a fan of Marvel. Uh, it's basically the Black Order, so it's going to be the team of, you know, mercenary slash uh, military style aliens that Thanos, Thanos, however you pronounce his name, uh, hires to work for him to obtain the Infinity Gems. And so you're fighting against them, and of course Thanos is probably going to be the final boss, I would assume. So, it should be a fun time. Now, if you're interested in playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 with me, it's not too late because, as I said, I've got, I've got two consistent teammates and then a couple people who may drop in and out. If you're interested in playing with me, please, by all means, email me at darksidephil.hotmail.com and send me your Nintendo ID. Okay, it's a number that's in your Nintendo Switch console that I need to in order to get, like, get you on my Nintendo friends list. What I'm going to do tonight is set this up so that everyone can be on my friends list. And what I'll do is I'll just invite people and hopefully we can get a full party at all times. That'd be really nice. We could always have a full party of four people. Um, you know, we'll see how that goes. I hope we can, because Marvel Ultimate Alliance is at its best when you have a big team of people, you know, four unique characters. Because the, the, the last two games, at least, I mean, they're 10 years old, but... Pretty unique in the fact that you could be, you know, a, an upfront melee character. You could have ranged, uh, you know, projectiles. Some characters actually have more area of effect abilities and can either buff your party or slow down enemies. Like, every character plays differently in the game. It's a lot of fun because of that. So, I guess we'll see how things go uh, over the course of the weekend and see what they've done. It's been 10 years, so it'll be a pretty fun experience, all right? So, that's going to be the main gameplay stream over the weekend. But I'm still going to be doing other chill stuff. For example, tomorrow night, Friday night, I'll be doing MLB, the show. People who really like the MLB chill streams. Um, Saturday, I'll probably do more Judgment. Sunday night's going to be our weekly Minecraft chill stream. All right. And because I was able to salvage the Minecraft run last week, things are actually off to a really good start. I did a lot of trading and commerce with my villagers last week. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, this week should be no exception. Then probably what we'll do is on Monday, we'll swing back to all the ongoing stuff. So maybe I'll do another major stream of Mario Maker 2, say, on Monday. Okay? And then probably Monday night, uh, maybe some more Judgment. We'll see. And then Tuesday's my day off for this week. Okay, guys? So, yes, another week. Tuesday is going to be my day off. Um, I do, you know, I know, again, that you guys aren't used to that. But it looks like at least for the, for the next week, that's going to be the case. I don't know if it'll be the case moving forward. As you guys know, sometimes Tuesdays is a major day for new releases. It just so happens that for the next, like, I'm not even kidding, like, month and a half, two months almost, there's no new releases on a Tuesday. Uh, I think the next new release on a Tuesday is actually the last weekend, uh, or the last week of August. So, we'll see what happens moving forward with that. All right? Um, also, Ask the King is coming up. Um, it's my Q&A show that I do every two months. And it's going to be on Thursday, July 25th, okay? So please post up your questions for Ask the King over on my forums on thekingofhate.com. The more questions that I get for the show, the better the show ends up being. The more, you know, the more the better, the more to talk about, the better. Versus not having enough questions, obviously the show ain't going to be so good, all right? So please post up those questions. Um, okay, um, also... An update regarding the Viewer's Choice playthrough, which for now has been established to be Super Mario 64 because I'm going to play the SpongeBob uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom remake next year when it comes out, all right? So we're going to be doing Super Mario 64 as the summer Viewer's Choice playthrough, um, and I'm looking to figure out what the best version of the game is. I've gotten multiple recommendations. Some people have said play it on the Wii U. There's a, 3, a 3DS emulated version or something like that. Um... And then some people said, don't play that version because it's too easy. 
and there's multiple characters that weren't in the original play the original, but I don't know how to play the original. So I'm still looking for a definitive answer on how to play this game. What's the way I should play it? Are there different versions of it? Where do I play it? You know, um... I'm okay with that. I, you know, I'm okay with playing any version that you guys think is the best version, but I need to know um, what is the better version and where do I get it. All right. Um, because, you know, it has to be valuable. It has to be something that I can do with my, my capture setup, right? Um, that playthrough, incidentally, all right, is going to begin more than likely by the end of July. We're going to see how stuff goes, you know, with Marvel this week. And then next week we've got Wolfenstein Youngblood coming up, and I got I'm gonna pop, probably do, be doing some co-op with that, but we don't know how long that game is. Um, and then we've got um, then after that we'll be wrapping up, you know, other playthroughs. I'll probably be, you know in the next week to two weeks be finishing up Final Fantasy IX and the like. So more than likely it'll be a good time to start up with Mario. Okay, um, so that's why I need to figure out basically within the next. Uh, the next week or so, we'll say. I need to figure out what's the better version of Mario to play so that I can I can, you know, you know, have it set up for the streams and get it ready to go. Okay? Fair enough. All right. Um, only other thing before we get to the next segment of the pre-stream would be a reminder about this month's subscriber goal. Um, you know, we're trying to hit 525 subs here on the channel. Our subs have been way up and down, like we had them way, way up, then way, way down. They're fluctuating a lot. Um, many good benefits to subscribing. One of the greater benefits right now is that you're going to get access to all of the Marvel-themed emotes that we have. We've transformed some of the long-standing emotes here for, in the channel to Marvel-themed emotes in honor of the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 playthrough that's going to take place starting tomorrow, okay? Um, so if you want access to these emotes, you can subscribe to the channel. We have over 30 emotes, all right? Over 30 that are available, um... You also, if you subscribe to the channel, do not have to watch advertisement breaks when I run them. <clears throat> and you get a cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been an ongoing supporter. All right. So many, many different benefits to subscribing. Please consider subscribing. If we hit the subscriber goal by the end of this month, which, you know, we have less than two weeks left at this point, guys, we're going to bring back the Rageathon. What is the Rageathon? It's an event where you guys are going to be able to nominate and then vote on games that are rage-inducing for me to play during a marathon setting. It could be any kind of game. It could be a fighting game, a puzzle game, a platforming game. It could be a game that I've played previously and, it, and you know I couldn't beat and it caused me insane rage. It could be a brand new game that I've never played before. Um, yeah, and that's a fun event. I did one last summer, and it was hit or miss, I'll be honest. I say about half the games caused rage, half didn't. But that's how the, the nature of these events work. Um <clears throat> So I'd love to do this event, but we need to hit the subscriber goal, guys. So please consider subbing if you're not subbed. Uh, a good opportunity to support the channel and also get an event going. Okay? Fair enough? All right, guys. Let's move on. Let's now talk uh, about gratuitous plugs. Yes, as you know, I do a gratuitous plug segment on the pre-stream every day. Let's get through that. So thank you guys for 11 years of support and allowing me to do what I love for 11 years. For the first two and a half years that I was a content creator on the internet, I did it just as a hobby as I had a full-time job, an office job outside of that. And that's how I became kind of virally popular on YouTube. Then when I lost that office job in the year of 2010, I became a full-time YouTuber and I did that all the way through early 2017, which was pretty awesome, not going to lie. But the whole bottom on YouTube fell out in 2017, and it was no longer viable for me to make a living doing it, just like many other content creators, because they lost most of their major advertisers, and ad revenue on YouTube plummeted dramatically. That being said, I wasn't going to give up, so in early 2017, I completely changed up my formula, and I became a full-time streamer here on Twitch. I made a lot of changes to my content, including tons of interactivity during the streams, and basically now, my streams are more of kind of a casual hangout, while, yes... It is about the games, and we have fun playing games together, but it's more about just chilling, having fun, interacting, talking, and having live reactions to the gameplay, rather than me feeling like this is a hyper-focused playthrough where I'm in an isolation booth, and I ignore that you guys even exist on the stream, which is really what it used to be like before I made the changes, all right? But all that being said, changing to be a full-time streamer has been an incredibly positive experience. I love my job. I love coming to my job every day. I really do. I enjoy this a ton. Uh, way more than I think I ever did doing it the old YouTube way. But 
but I now rely primarily on your guys' crowdfunding efforts here on the streams in order to keep things afloat. This is what I use as my main source of income to pay my bills and, but you know, do everything for the streams. So there are many ways that if you enjoy the streams and you enjoy my on-demand videos on YouTube, you can step up and you can help support the efforts to keep me doing it. All right. Here are many of the ways. First of all, before I even get to them, I'm going to say this up front. Contributions. Keep things going around here. Contributions are greatly appreciated, but they are not mandatory. I am happy to just have people come out and hang out with me on a daily basis on stream, just enjoying games together and having fun. It's a pretty amazing thing that 11 years you guys have still been hanging out with me. All right, that is pretty damned awesome. And I want to say thank you for that, okay? But that being said, um, for those who do want to go above and beyond and contribute, it's much appreciated and it helps out, and here's how you can help, all right? Number one, check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Your monthly contribu contributions there earn you personal perks. And thank you to anyone who is an ongoing patron contributor. Number two, I have a Teespring merchandise shop. You see the ad for it right now on the screen. I sell all kinds of fun stuff, including primarily t-shirts, but there's some mugs and stickers and other stuff there. Anything you buy from my Teespring helps me out. So thanks for that. Um, I have an Amazon wish list. The Amazon wish list <clears throat> primarily consists of, you know, credits for the three major gaming networks, PlayStation Store, Nintendo Store, and Xbox Live. If you buy me some credits from there, it goes straight to the cost of games, right? So it helps me to buy all the games for the streams, right? And that's a great thing. And I want to say thanks again. The reason I have multiple Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 right now preloaded on my Switch is because of contributions of fans and viewers who, uh, you know, bought some stuff off my wish list. So thank you very much for that, okay? But if you're here live on the stream, all right, and you're watching the stream live and you want to contribute and maybe get some interaction with me during the stream... If you either cheer with bits, or you subscribe to the channel, or you tip me live during the stream, I'm going to give you a live shout-out. Now, in particular, the Dragon Quest Builders 2 stream has a lot of downtime where I have an ability to talk with you guys and interact and give you thank yous. So, this is an ample opportunity if you want to get noticed and get some recognition for contributions. This is a great stream to consider doing it, okay? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. As you can see, guys, we have a stream stats leaderboard at the top of the screen. This includes things such as the total you know, subs, but primarily it's there to recognize the top cheerer and top tipper of the day. So please consider contributing in that method. You will get up there if you are the top cheerer or top tipper of the said stream. All right. Um, we also have a cheery leaderboard that is integrated here into Twitch chat. Okay. This is one that <clears throat> when you cheer, you will, it will count the top 10 cheerers of the day and put them up there for extra recognition. All right, so you might want to consider cheering as well. That'll get you up there on that leaderboard and give you some extra, uh, you know, shout out basically. All right. Um, in particular, I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I want to reference before we move on to the next segment. Um, hmm. I don't think so. I think I covered everything. Wow. I've had a pretty efficient pre-stream because we're only not even 20 minutes in. And we're already going to get to the shout-out segment. Um, wow, that was quick. <laughs> okay, then. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for uh, any contributions. You know, can't wait to give you recognition. Can't wait to interact with all of you. It should be a fun a fun and chill Builders 2 stream. Okay? All right, now let's move on to shout-outs. So, this is the segment where I give you credit if you contributed. Um, and we actually start off with people who contributed overnight. When I wasn't even broadcasting, which is a pretty amazing thing that people keep me in mind when I'm not even broadcasting, okay? We start off with Golden Colts, who did a 100-bit cheer overnight. Oh, and by the way, okay, I should I should bring this up. I believe that the Bleed Purple promotion on Twitch is still in effect. What this means is if you cheer today, please use the Bleed Purple cheer mode. If you do so, you give 10% bonus bits for absolutely free to the streamer. So, it's a way for you to give more for free, and, uh, you know, it's a no-brainer. It helps out more, okay? So, please consider using the Bleed Purple Cheer Mode, all right? Unless it's over. Is it over? Son of Son of Spirit says it's over. Oh, it is over? All right. Well, I, now I sound stupid. All right, it's over. Never mind. All right, th then I guess what I should do is up front say, thanks to those of you who did use the Bleed Purple Cheer Mode for those few days where it was in effect. It did help a lot, okay? Thank you for that. All right, never mind. So now let's get back to, to the subject. Um, Golden Colts. 
Overnight, he did a 100-bit cheer, and he says the following. Phil, <clears throat> you should change your Twitch channel avatar. If I didn't know any better, I would think that this is a stream about a cowboy tending to his cattle and perhaps doing some rodeo. Well, incidentally, that's exactly what this stream is about. That's what I do on stream every day. I don't know what you're talking about. It's all about IRL streaming, uh, me wrestling up, <laughs> Rassle, r r rustling and wrestling up the cattle, right? That's what I do all day. So I guess that's dead on. Maybe it's an accurate representation. Get along, little doggies. Now, in reality, I, I like the Avatar because it's one of the more unique things about me. You know, I wore cowboy hat in videos over the years. People like the cowboy hat for Ask the King. Um, you know, yeah, am I a Texan a Texan streamer? No, I'm not. Um, but I think it's kind of funny. Um, if you guys had an idea of a better Avatar, if you really were bothered by it, I would consider changing it. This is, I, th I think Golden Cult is, is be, you know, teasing a little bit. But, um, you know, I have a different avatar for both my YouTube and my Twitter. That's a more cartoonish theme that someone drew for me le uh, earlier in the year. And some people like it and some people don't. Some people said it's good and some people are like, oh, I don't like it. It's too, it's too cartoony or something. I don't know. Everyone is always a critic, right? No matter what you do, someone likes it and someone doesn't. Um, but fair enough. Thank you very much for the cheer. Golden Colts. Much appreciated. Thank you. Cody Carls. Subscribed overnight for 23 months. A 23-month resub. That is an amazingly long amount of support. I thank you very much, Cody Carls, for 23 months of support. That's pretty awesome. So thank you very much for that. Okay. Oh, my God. That's funny. King Koopa says, as an Italian, I think it's cultural appropriation when you wear a cowboy hat, man. <laughs> that's right. That's absolutely right. I'm trying to appropriate that tech, the, the, the cowboy Texas culture. You, you got it. You hit it right on the head, bro. <laughs> How silly. All right, let's continue. Mithrin Deer, 475, has subscribed to the channel with Twitch Prime. Thank you, Mithrin Deer. Uh, Mithrin Deer has been a, a regular attendee recently. You know, I've been noticing him a lot more. Or I, I say he, and it's, I shouldn't say he. I, that's gender assumption. I've been noticing them a lot more in stream chat recently, and I appreciate this all. Thank you very much, Mithrin Deer. All right, continuing on. Um, PW Dubs. Started off the cheering today with a 100-bit cheer. And he says, good afternoon or good morning in Seattle. Laughing out loud. Yeah, it is still the morning here. Still 11 a.m.-ish. Quick question. Was there ever been a detractor channel that you actually agreed with? Uh, I wouldn't know because I don't watch them. And I know a lot of people don't believe me. I don't watch them. I seriously don't. Uh, I find out about them from you guys. I find out about all this stuff from people coming into my streams and telling me about what people are doing. I usually... Very in a very rare occurrence would I ever have watched anything from those kind of guys. The only reason I maybe would is someone told me, Phil, did you know that there's like personal information about you in a video and it's very, you know, it, it's dangerous to you? Then maybe I would I would check it out and watch it. Like uh, you know, people doxing me or people doing really fucked up stuff about my family members and stuff, which just happened. Um, you know, then I got to pay attention to it. But outside of that, I don't give a shit. I'm here to, to, to stream and enjoy and, and hang out with you guys on a daily basis and to have fun. And that's what I'm all about. I don't care that there's people out there that all they want to do is just make fun and tear down and be negative And that's their entirety of their existence. I, I don't give a crap. So, no. Um, there's never been anyone I've actually agreed with because I never really watched any of it. I wouldn't even know about what the hell they're talking about. And I like to keep it that way, you know? I'm just here to have fun stuff going on every day and chill stuff with you guys. That's my only concern. Oh, uh, yeah, Champion Stumlock. Oh, yeah, they've leaked my personal info a million times, dude. A million times. They've given out my address. They've given out my phone number. Um, they gave out, you know, family members' information. They've harassed myself and family members. Uh, they've done the gamut, the wide gamut of, you know, just really nasty stuff for no fucking reason at all, you know. Not that it, it affects... Not that it... it it concretely affects anything. It's just stuff that they, they do to hurt. You know, it's pretty messed up. I've been victim of all that shit. Have I ever had carnitas? Yes. Isn't carnitas uh, the traditional roasted pork that's inside of uh, Mexican ta tacos and stuff? Yeah, I've had that. And it's good. All right, continuing on. Genesis 890722 has so for four months... Thank you very much, Genesis, for four months of support. 
Um, he says, one more month of support and happy 30th birthday to me. Keep it up, Phil. Well, happy birthday, Genesis. Happy birthday. And um, uh, have a good one. I hope you have a good day. wonder what you're up to today. Thanks for, for resubbing and thanks for the ongoing support. That's very uh, appreciative, okay? All right. Vash7342 to the 70-bit cheer and says, hey, Phil, check your email. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, my email... Basically, my email doesn't update very... My, my email is very frustrating. The reason I say that is... It basically, um, it doesn't update live. It, 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 like, every 10, 15 minutes, it'll ping the server, and then all of a sudden, if there's new emails, a bunch of emails will flood into my inbox. I very rarely get an email immediately on my phone um, because of the way the server refresh works. So right now I see nothing, but hold on, and I'll wait a minute here, and then it'll probably refresh, and I'll see what he's talking about. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold up. Everyone just hold on. Give me a second. Give me a sec. <laughs> okay. Now, did it update? Checking for mail. Ugh. Well, I'm not seeing anything. That certainly doesn't mean you didn't send me the email. What I would say is if you sent me an email, please send it again. Um, just resend it. And then if I don't get it again, then I guess we'll talk behind the scenes because I don't see it, but that doesn't mean I didn't get it. It might mean that my phone's not refreshing properly or it's not syncing with the right server. Um, so please resend that email, Vash, and I'll take a look at it later. Okay? Sorry about that. Sorry that I can't respond immediately because apparently my email doesn't want to load or whatever. I don't know. Okay. Solomon Pluto has resubbed for four months and says, keep it up, Phil. Thank you very much, Solomon Pluto. All right, let's check a few things. Let's check on sub count and see if we've gone up or down. 457. We, we are... Okay, we're dead on where we were when we started. 457, that's good. Um, let's also go ahead and do some shout-outs for the top cheerers of the week, shall we? All right, the top 10 cheers of the week. Thank you very much for all of your contributions. We start in number 10th place, Golden Colts. In 9th place this week, it's... Excuse me, I completely screwed this up. In 10th place, it's Timbo Slice GB. Boy, I blew that. I, I completely read it wrong. In 9th place, it's Golden Colts. So there you go. Sorry about that. In 8th place, Gustav PC. 7th place goes to Egg Gangster. 6th place, Vote Democrat. Fifth place is Joe. Fourth place, Nihilistic Goldfish. Third place is Vash7342. Second place, Philip Smelly Couch. Or excuse me, Philip Smelly Chair. He should have named it Smelly Couch, but it's Philip Smelly Chair. And the first place so far for this week, RFHC5. So thank you very much for your contributions so far this week, everybody. Um... All right, it looks like that's it. It looks like we're going to have a much shorter pre-stream than usual today. <clears throat> People aren't really asking me anything, and I've gone through all the contributions already, right? So I guess we've, uh, you know, we, we've completed the pre-stream content. Unless anyone has any questions or anything for me, we could, we could jump into Dragon Quest Builders. What do you guys think? Ah, finishing up my Mio water here. And everyone, prepare yourselves. It's time for a bottle crunch. There you go. Okay, Vash, uh, I did see your email now. I just got it. Apparently, the first one, did for some reason, I didn't get it. I don't know why, but the second one, I did. So, thank you very much, Vash. I got your email, all right? I will, I will respond later. Thank you for that. Um, ah, Vote Democrat did a 123-bit cheer. That's the top cheer of the day. He says, I just got Chick-fil-A. 
Let's talk chicken. Sure. What do you want to talk about? I, I just had Chick-fil-A a couple weeks ago, and I had their spicy chicken sandwich, and it is incredibly good. The thing that I think is the, the best thing about Chick-fil-A... I just said vote chicken because I'm talking about Chick-fil-A. I typed vote chicken. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I typed vote chicken. Um, Chick-fil-A's chicken is good because it's super juicy, yet it's still crispy and very tasty on the outside, and it's huge. Like, the chicken sandwiches you get there, the chicken is giant. You know, I'll give you some perspective. Uh, a little over a month ago, I believe I went to Burger King just randomly because I haven't been there in like like a year, and they had a chicken sandwich, and the chicken was small and dry, and I'm like, what the hell is this? You know, for the same price, you go to Chick Fil A, you get a giant, you know, insanely juicy, flavorful chicken sandwich. They are really good. I also really like their waffle fries, which is very unique. I was saying to Cat, you know, there's really nowhere else you can get waffle fries today. Right? No, what other fast food place does waffle fries? Nobody. Everyone either does straight fries or curly fries. So the waffle fries are a nice touch. In addition, at least the local Chick Fil A that we have is incredibly clean. They've got a staff that's attentive and goes around, and not only they bring you your food to your table, which is pretty crazy when you think about it, at freaking fast food place to bring you your food to your table, but also, you know, they keep the place very tidy and nice. So that's what I really like about that. Um. Italian Frog says, Arby's says waffle fries? No, they don't. Not out here. At least not out here. I've never seen waffle fries at Arby's. They only have the curly fries of the straight. That's it. Um, actually, out here, they only have the curly fries. Now I'm thinking about it. They don't even do the straight fries at Arby's out here anymore. They only do the waffle fries. Yeah. Vote Democrats says, did I, uh, did I ever try the shake? No, we have not. We, Kat and I have only been to Chick-fil-A twice, and we never tried the milkshake while we were there. We were even saying maybe one day we will, but typically just that's the other thing, too. The sandwiches are so big, you buy a combo, you're full. You're like, you eat the sandwich and the fries, you're good. I mean, I don't even know how anyone would fit a milkshake, you know? Unlike other fast food places, it's all like tiny little sandwiches and shitty, you know, fries, and you're unsatisfied. But at Chick-fil-A, I've been satisfied both times I went there. So, okay. <laughs> uh, Madara's God says Chick-fil-A actually marinates their chicken. Well, that would explain it. That's why it's so crazy tasty. If they're marinating the chicken instead of just taking a frozen thing and, you know, tossing it in a heater, that makes a lot of sense. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, thank you, Vote Democrat. Um, Hank. What's up, Hank? He took me $10. I've said for another four great hours of Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball? Oh, my God. Well, it kind of looks like Dragon Ball. <laughs> it's Dragon Quest Builders 2. Yes. I am excited as well. I want to see where the game goes today. Um, as you know, we're kind of open world exploring now for new uh, seeds to plant new crops. What I'm hoping is that by the end of today's stream, all right, we can get into something brand new, whether it's a new mechanic or whatever, because I like the game, but if the whole game is just going to be farming at this point, you know, I think it's going to get stale. So I'm hoping there will be some new mechanics, whether it's new combat mechanics or something new to do in the game besides farming. I hope that we can get to that today. Okay, I guess we'll see. Four more hours. All right. Um... Okay, so thank you for the $10 tip, Hank. That's much appreciated, dude. Thank you very much for $10. And then, yeah, baby. Timmy a dollar says, I dare you to use a blacklight on your sofa. Um, In reality, the truth of the matter is, most people have used a blacklight on any sofa. It's going to look gross because, you know, <clears throat> all the bodily functions that just happen naturally, you know. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure, you know, anyone's bed, sofa, even a chair that you just sit in all the time, use a blacklight on it, you're going to have all kinds of human you know, things on it. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm sure it would be gross. I'm absolutely sure it would be gross. <laughs> okay. Vash just cheered. I said, did you hear that Ford might stop making their cars in America due to shit sales of the Fusion? No, I didn't hear that. Then again, uh, I it's kind of funny. I almost see no Ford cars out here. I live in the Seattle area of the country. Uh, I see almost no Ford automobiles at all. Like, it's a very small presence of cars out here. Um, I see a lot of hybrids. So I see a lot of, you know, Toyota hybrids. And what's the other one? Oh, I see a lot of... I don't see a lot, but I see smart cars. I see... Um, what's the other one that I see a lot of? 
Ah, I can't put my finger up. But but yeah, I see a lot. You know, out here you got a lot of the 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 hybrid cars or some there's some electric cars, but a lot of you know Asian like Toyota, Hyundai, um, you know that kind of stuff. Very rarely do I see any Fords, and I you know personally, I'm trying to remember the last time I owned an American-made car. <laughs> 2012? Was it 2012? Hold on a second. Let me think about this. 20... I think it was 2012. Because that's when I had to get rid of my Grand Dam because my Grand Dam was pouring fluids all over the place. Yeah, it was bad. Like, my Grand Dam was just about to explode. Um, so I am Myself, I haven't owned an American car in a long time. And I can say, you know, sadly... Seems a foreign-made car seem to be really good quality. I, you know, I don't know what else to say. They are. My parents have owned uh, a couple Fords, and they had a Taurus in the '90s, and that lasted all through the '90s into the early 2000s until it fell apart and they had to get rid of it. So, you know, we'll see. I guess you know, we'll see. Uh, you know, moving forward, what happens with Ford? I don't know if, if their Fusion isn't selling. Uh. I don't know what else, you know, what else, Ford pickup truck, right? What else, you know, that's the thing, like, Ford used to be big. They had the Taurus, which was the family vehicle. Then they had the Focus, which was more of kind of the, the single, you know, if you were just a, a single person driving your own car around, well, you would get the Focus. If you had a family, you'd get the Taurus. And then if you wanted the truck, they had their truck. Um, but now I don't even know, you know, who's buying that stuff, right? I don't know. Okay. All right, so anyway, that is, uh, that's it for contributions today so far. We got through all of them. Thank you guys for all of your contributions here on the pre-stream. I appreciate it. Um, I guess we're going to get to the game now. Okay, so thank you very much, everyone. I hope you're ready for a nice, chill, fun, and interactive Dragon Quest Builders 2 stream. All right. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's do it. 